I know all of you who are here very interested about Chinese culture and the Shaolin culture especially. Mm. So I would like to share my learning experience and the spiritual development of the uh, Chan Buddhism and the Kung Fu culture. Uh, I had uh, my study in China, uh, Chinese uh, Ch Buddhist Academy of China, uh, and then I completed my uh, post PhD in Sri Lanka, uh, Buddhist country. <clears throat> and before my study, I I practiced the Kung Fu, the Shaolin Karate, in Shaolin Temple, and the, the guidance <coughs> and of my master, <coughs> Venerable Yunxin, about the Shaolin Temple. <coughs> so that's my uh, background. <coughs> Speak of Chan, the Chan uh, from the original words, original words of the uh, Sanskrit, uh, which is uh, dhyana, that means uh, keep your mind quiet. But if we go deep for that, that means to to purify your mind, to purify our mind. Because you now you know we have a very good element of the material world, so we have a good uh, material element. But the, the material material world bring us happiness, you know. But uh, let's just surface happiness. If we want again the the real inner happiness. We should uh, make a good development of the the mind, the spiritual development. So this this Chan Buddhism focus on how to development, how to make good development, or how to develop, or cultivate a spiritual home. Because spiritual home, because that that thing you cannot look outside. Uh, outside, we every day looking at outside, that's a material world. But inside, you can never look at it. Only you uh, start work on inside. You experience by yourself. And nobody can help you. Nobody can experience it for you. So that's the Chan Buddhism uh, folk song, you know. Uh, you feel it by yourself and you understand by yourself and finally you know all oh, this something real inside and you know that feeling and you know that experience and then then your life pattern can change because the inside starts changing you know you know every time when we every day we start to do something because we want to do something, we inside we have idea. Then we move, we move, we move to that subject, and we take the action, and we we talk or we think that that subject. So that means our world started from our inner side. Is it? So that means when you inside start changing, you know, outside also start changing. Right? Your moving changing, and your talking change, and thinking also change. So we make the life pattern get changed. Something very scientific and very something can be experienced. So, so that's the Chan Buddhism folks are. So once you get understand, you 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 will. You will get the one idea, oh, this is not religion. It's nothing connected with religion because no matter I'm a Buddhist, I'm a Christian, or I'm Muslim, I can do it. I can do it like this. 
to, to, to change my, to start increase the meditation, the, the inner side start changing day by day, and time to time, you know, something very, very beyond the religion, and even the culture, and even the national boundary, no matter you're American and Chinese or you know, you're from France and India and some different country. But they know that the inner things never change. So that's the Chan Buddhism mainly focus on. And uh, you know but why we have a Kung Fu culture in China and in Solin Temple. That's the thing very interesting. <laughs> People usually not get a clear picture because oh, this is martial art. You see, they're moving fast and powerful. So, so what happened? This thing get inside the temple. How they can connect it with the Buddhist priest? So what happened? Why do they have such arts? So that's something very interesting. If we get the background and the the meaning of the practice going good, then we will understand very easily. So that's what I want to explain to, to you. And uh, you know, the, the Shaolin martial arts, we usually take a, like, Kung Fu, the meditation belongs to one. All we see a uh, unit of meditation and Kung Fu. So, uh, I will explain from this point to, to what I am trying to explain the Kung Fu. So, what we call meditation, they have a concept. What's a meditation? So, usually we can give a few a key words to explain. So, meditation means mindfulness. Something you like I'm breathing, breathing in, breathing out. Oh, this is breathing breath out very simple. Yes, every day you're breathing inside breath out, but you don't know. You forgot. You don't have mindfulness. You don't know what you're doing. You're thinking some other thing. Is it? So we should cultivate the mindfulness. So that's a one point of meditation. And other thing, self control. You control yourself. How can I control them? I will, you control yourself, you cannot control yourself because you cannot control your mind. I want to go to somewhere. Then you decide to go. Why? Because your mind gives you an order. Is it? So you want to control yourself you first to you control your mind. That's something very clear. Is it? So you decide, that means you give, a, you give a message to your mind, and then your mind will tell you about, let's go, start, move, like that. So if you want to have good self-control, you should first control your mind, is it? Because we are doing under the order of the man, is it? So how to control a man? Like, very simple, and breathing in, breathing out. Breathe in, breathe out. I pay attention to that, I know. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yes, good. You see, my mind and my control. But only 30 seconds, you start, oh, I don't think. You heard a sound, oh, what's that? Oh, someone, you know, make a noise. Oh, heaven, why are you doing like this? You see, your mind moving. Your mind went outside. It don't listen to you. Or suppose that nothing happens, but you start thinking, oh, tomorrow I have another work, I want to do that. Then your mind slap back, you run off, you know, mm -hmm. like a wild animal, he don't care you. It's like, oh, where is the mind? No, I am, I am developing my mind, I should come back. Okay, I start to attention, concentrate on my breath. Breath in, breath out, breath in, this way, come in, come in. 10 seconds, then the mind go away, again. Okay. Why? Because something happened, or your mind inside, you remember something. Oh, yesterday I had some bad thing, 
which you know some guys say some bad word to me. Oh, I feel bad. No, I thought that I, you know something like this every day happening like this. So see your mind not listen to you. You cannot control yourself. That is self control. So these are the meditation. Uh, so self control, mindfulness. And concentration. You can you should concentrate your mind. I'm driving. Oh, driving. But your mind cannot concentrate you think something, your phone is raining, you pick up the phone. You, you know, you talk as driving, you cannot concentrate. You say, oh there is another vehicle coming. I should turn this side. You know, it comes true. Only that short movement. Then your mind slap away. You know, that's you should concentrate. Concentration called meditation. But when we practice Gong Fu, same like this. You know, when I move, I concentrate what I move. I do, I, my, my hand go this, okay, I, I know. When I do this, I know. You know, you, can't, you follow up, you develop your mindfulness. You know, you move your body, but with the mindfulness. You know, you do connection, mindfulness. You know, and another thing actually, maybe sometimes your mind get loose. You cannot continue focus on. But you develop, develop. You know, time, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, you develop. So that's a good meditation. Because you through your action move, your action is the, is the object, and your mind focusing on that. You know? <coughs> so, but actually, the tool is a tool for you to develop your mindfulness. You know? So that's the concentration. Another thing, the self-control. You develop self-control. How? When you move your body, I should control it. I want it fast to move. So every fast, I want it slowly move. But the body sometimes, you know, we have our habits and body like quick. Somebody when they when they're walking for 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 example, they like big move. Why? Because they used to like that. So they, I said, they said, okay, I will try to train myself. I will slowly move, slowly move, slowly move, slowly move. But after two minutes, they start quick again. Why? Because that's the left snail. I'm this kind of people. I like this. I I used to this. So, so that means you cannot control your body. Because you cannot control man, you are this kind of people. You know, you cultivate yourself from very early age. Family education, you know, school education, social, social background, and they they make a people in that certain certain manner. When we practice go like that. You know, we do it in slow way, or in quick way, or in the way as I want. You know, by that way, we develop the, the self-control. Through control your body, control action, to train how to control your mind. You know, and then concentration. And same, when you practice, you, your mind concentrate. But sometimes it won't run or sad word thinking something and break down for some period of time and then you drag your mind back. Oh I'm not practicing much like I focus on, focus on training it. You know? But this you develop your inner side, not your body. Yes, body will get developed because your exercise make your body healthy. Healthier even. But the mean Subject is inside the inner development. That's called spiritual development. So that's what we call Shaolin martial art. Shaolin kung fu. What we, 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 we say kung fu meditation belongs to us. So I hope you got my idea. <laughs> Thank you.